redstone lab and I'm doing another video. This is going to be seven ways to hide your chests in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now most of them do work for PC and just before you skip skip anything, I just want to say that right here, just click on that. That's a poll that you can vote on what's your favorite length of my videos. And there is um, longer than I normally do, shorter than I normally do, or what I normally do. Which is around like 3 minutes or something. And like long can be like 10 minutes or just longer. So just vote on what you want and then I'll look at it and I'll decide. So I can do videos that you like. Also, um, if any of these help you... And, like, if you like them, then just comment that they were good, and let's just get right to it. I'm going to start off with the ones that don't require any redstone, and that are very easy for survival. So, first of all, this one's very simple. It's just underneath this carpet, there's a chest. But, on this, just, this is just a decoy chest. Underneath it is the actual chest, if you can see it down there. I'm just going to turn split controls on. So yeah, it's much more easy to get at it with split controls that will cross. And if you just reach down or get to a corner. Because actually it's pretty hard. But it's hard for them to... Oh, there, eh, Right there. No. This is taking a while. Okay. Um. I'm getting pretty impatient. <laughs> and. Come on. There we go. And then you get us your diamonds. And no one sees. And you can just go like this. Cover back up. And let's move on to the next one. This one is my favorite because it's very easy and it just it works very well. I I just modified it a little bit. So it's no redstone, you just have to reach behind. And you can see the chest right back there. And you can just grab it and you can keep it lit and still grab it. And it looks like you're just looking at the fireplace. You just have to tap in the right spot just to get it. And then you can get at all your diamonds and leave without anyone noticing. Next, there's two painting ones. Now, I don't guarantee that these are going to assure you safety. Because it's still possible to just go like that. <laughs> but anyway, this one is like this with these two um, trap doors. It's really handy because they... Because it's hard to, it's not as easy to jump in. But it still is if you were, if you just wanted to break them, it would be pretty easy. But anyway, the trapdoors make it harder to jump in. And if you are in, then you can just go like, close it like that and then no one can jump in. Get your diamonds and then just leave. But the I'm not going to say that these paintings are going to work 100%. So just, yeah. And then the next one is this type of one, where you throw the item on here and it opens. But it doesn't work in Minecraft Pocket Edition with it right here. So you need to break that, replace it with any type of carpet. Because the carpet, um, you just need a block there so the painting will go over it. And you actually have to put wood right here, so you throw the item in, it bounces down. You need a piece of red, actually you do need just one little piece, but I think you can afford it. Just one piece of redstone under that block. And then just uh, any press plate on there. And that's the pocket edition way of doing it. So I'll just show you what it's like. I need to put the painting back on. Okay, never mind. You just throw it, get him in, 
Okay, that was a bad throw. And yeah, just get it down. It'll open up. You'll pick it back up. Get your diamonds. Just step over here. And then go out. Yeah, the door just lagged. And that's, this is the one that don't require any or, they don't require much or any redstone. So now let's get to the redstone one. Okay, so, I'm going to get all three of these in one go. So first I'm going to show them off and then I will show how to do them. So this one is just like, it opens up right there. So actually I'm going to need to grab a bucket. I'll grab one of those and that. So, there's two different ways of doing it. Um, there's just the average lever that you can flip and it powers it and opens and then you can get at your diamonds. Or, if you don't want it, if you want it more hidden, then you can use a cauldron. And I'll show how that works when I build it. And if you want hidden inputs, I this is the video. It's um, three hidden ways, hidden inputs. And so you can use that for this if you want. And yeah, that just opens up. Oh, okay, whatever. Uh, that's not good. I'll just block that up. And the next one. This one is just a hole in the ground that you can open up your diamonds. Get your diamonds and shut it. Or if you want to, you can use the cauldron. And that's if you don't want if you don't have enough space on the side you can just dig it down. And it it does work in a flat world as you can oh, I'll just retract. Anyway, okay. Never mind. It's pretty thin. And this one is actually the one that I need that button for. I'll just quickly grab it. And I really like this one. You quickly um you press the button and then press again. And then get the diamonds. And then it looks like you're just AFK and you're not like it doesn't look like you're, you're just staring at a wall. So you need to tap it and then tap again, like double tap and then get at it. And it's it's pretty neat. OK, so now I'm going to build them. Starting with the one in the wall, you need to build the wall first. So I'm just going to go like this across actually I'm gonna switch it back cuz I'm qu quicker at building yeah I'm just used to doing it like this anyway once we have the wall you need to just put in the inputs I'm just gonna use a lever just for this example but you don't have to you can use any input I'm gonna need to grab a chest cuz that's what the whole video is about where is it? There it is. Right there. And if you have any suggestions for my videos, just comment them and I'll see them because I'm running out of ideas. This was just inspired by something I was doing. And anyway, okay. So then you need to put your chest one behind it. And then put a sticky piston with the block of the wall on it so it's like this. And then back behind here, um, the block is, the lever is right there, so we need to, okay, um, that I don't like. And then you so bring the redstone, which is right underneath the lever, so you just, all you have to do is bring that down. So you can just go like that, and then just like that. And for the cauldron, you just need to place the cauldron right here and a comparator and then a repeater and just like that you need the comparator because it measures how much water is in there and then the repeater to keep it powered so if you're going to put a cauldron just have it like right in front of it and you can put that behind and it's hidden the next one is the one for the floor this requires a little more redstone but it's still pretty simple. Again, I'm going to start like this for the wall, and then I'm just going to peek over here. Yeah, okay. And then this is where I'm going to put the hole. Doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to do it here. 
and the chest will go right where this block is, but I don't, oh yeah, I do have one. <laughs> just like that. You could have a way to just drop down here, but I think this works just as good. So on any side of the hole, you can just go like this. Just a simple, like, they're just sticky pistons facing like this with a block. With the block around it, I'm just going to use quartz. And if you didn't see my um, 2 by one piston door, that was actually my first video. It sounded so much different. And just go watch that, because this has about the same design, except split in half. And it has kind of the same design as my 2x2 two two piston door. But it's very, very simple. Just go like that, with a piece of redstone, and then a repeater. And that powers these two. Which is pretty handy. And then just set that, click it three times, so it's on four ticks. And then on the other side... Right here, you need to put a repeater, just leave it how it is. And then if we power this, I'm just going to go like that. That should power, and it should retract. Now we need to attach that up behind here. And I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel because I've always loved redstone. And here I am doing it, helping other people get better at it. And, yeah, now I just need to attach this, and then we have one more. So, I'm just gonna, you know how to use the, the cauldron. It's about the same thing with this, so I'm just gonna use the lever. But, just go look at the hidden inputs. That's a very, just, there's three really good ones. And, just bring this down right in and now it should work if I get rid of that lever and if it closes and opens and you, then you can just cover it up okay and then the last one this one is very very easy it's just like that and actually I'm not going to do that quite yet you just need to dig like this just a little thing like that with redstone uh, on these two sides. And then a redstone torch. Place your chest right above that. With a sticky piston um, facing that way on top of the torch with the block. So it's just like that. Yeah, did you follow that? And, yeah, so there's redstone underneath it, and it looks just like this. And then you just place the button, press it, and get into your chest. So, let me know if you like these. Make sure to vote. I'll have that at the beginning of the video, so you can just vote. And if you like the video, like it, and see you in the next time. Bye.